And we want to emphasize to the diplomatic community that this, whenever we hold demonstrations, it is in strict compliance with the right under the Constitution. And is a, a right that we'll continue to enjoy without any coercion or blackmail for us to behave in a certain fashion or manner. So th those demonstrations will take place uh, and we hope that the diplomatic community will concentrate on the issues that we have raised and not only us, the European Union observation team, which is still here, raised 18 issues and made 18 recommendations which have not been adequately, adequately addressed uh, by the Commission. And we invite the diplomatic community also to have a conversation with that observer mission on the issues that they raised, some of which they have pointed out are minimum conditions for holding a free and fair uh, election. And those uh, that are going to take part in the demonstrations on Friday, we again appeal to them to be orderly, to be peaceful, and to remind the police that they are there to protect the right as spelled out in the Bill of Rights, the right to demonstrate and to picket and to assemble. Uh, so to the extent that we noted that on Monday they tended to protect those who wanted to interfere with our demonstrations and did not protect our right to have free uh, uh, exercise of our rights under the Constitution. It is surprising that even in respect of the university where we saw police brutality in a very primitive form, that instead of the authorities dealing with that issue, they have decided to send the students away and close the university. So the students have been punished twice, suffering from police brutality and also not being able to continue with their studies. And the vice chancellor of the University of Nairobi should uh, be very careful because there's something which the universities have fought for for a long time, which is called academic freedom.